Hi, my name is Taylor and I am a junior at the Miami Valley School. And I am participating in a class called TED, which stands for Technology, Entertainment, and Design. And part of the assignment that we were supposed to do is taking the Strain Finders 2.0, which is a test helping you figure out your five top strengths. And the point of it is not to seek out your weaknesses, but to help make those um, strengths stronger. So my five top strengths were, or are, maximizer, belief, intellection, self-assurance, and significance. And the reason why I wasn't really shocked with any of them, at least not all of them, um, is because I know that two of them play a part into each other, and I don't, I can just see them being a part of me as it is. So I'm just going to explain how they are and how I kind of figure out how they relate in my life. So part of Maximizer is basically taking little things that are like at this level and just like taking them above that. And I know that's me because I do it a lot with track. I try to stand out as much as I can. I am a humble athlete when I'm at track meets. However, I, po I do everything possible I can to make myself a better runner. And that's just because I love the sport so much and that plays a part into significance because I want to make myself known. I don't want to just run to be running. And part of that is because we are D3. I go to a very small school. Um, it's a private independent school. So we don't really run against bigger schools except for at one or two meets. And so I do do everything I can to become a better runner. I run in the spring and I run in the summer. And sometimes I do workouts during off season. And so with maximizer and significance, I think those play the top two roles in my personality that I can think of just for the simple fact of that's what I see all the time. Like I'm always trying to do the best I can on my projects or papers that I write. Um, just taking everything and trying to take it to that next level because I want it to be important. I want somebody to recognize that it is important. Now, I'm not saying that I have to be the center of attention all the time, which I think is what um, one of the traits were that was a part of like maximizer and significance because for me personally, I don't feel like I have to take a huge role into everything, but... Um, I do just like to be known, like, at least when I do something, I want people to know, like, that I did it, but I don't have to be, like, the main person who did everything in the group. And then my third was self-assurance, which I believe goes strongly into confidence, and I just agree with this one because with being self-assured it's like when I walk around at track meets you're not supposed to just walk with your head down like then people think they know you're gonna lose like they know you're just slow that's just what kind of comes with the territory but you don't want to be cocky and I think you have to find that balance with that and I think personally people with that trait um, of self-assurance or that strength sometimes that's what it comes off as and it's really not I just think when I walk around with confidence I feel like people believe in what I'm saying and people don't second guess me all the time or they don't think I'm just some slouch as we say. Um, so I just relate with confidence as a self-assurance, assured straight trait. I can't speak. Um, just because it's just something I try to incorporate within anything. It just the way I walk, how I talk to people, how I talk to grown-ups specifically, when I'm at track meets, like it just all plays a part into one another. And then that would lead into belief. And that's just, um, the main part about that strength is that you have a set, like you have set values. And I think I have that just because of the way my mother raised me. So certain things that I might see I might not think of it the same way someone else might just because of the beliefs I have. So somebody can say something and I'll think it's a joke, but to somebody else it might be like, oh my God, why did you say that to her? Da, da, da. So it's kind of just 
it has its downfalls, but it honestly has helped me stay like stay focused going through my junior year because junior year is your hardest year and you don't want to mess that up because colleges are looking at you and recruiting is happening so my beliefs personally I don't really tell a lot of people about them except for like really close friends but I do believe they have helped me keep my head straight this year and just making certain decisions when I have to they are what make me I guess you could say when I have a decision to make once I make it, it's final. It's not going to change because I thought about it and it is what it is and then it's done. So belief makes a lot of sense for me because I do incorporate that a lot in my everyday life. And then my last strength is intellection. And the way I kind of wanted to go about this was not like smart because when it comes to school, that's, that's stressful. That's really stressful. So when I'm talking, of, when I think of intellection, the way I interpret it is I seek intellectual conversations. They don't have to be about school and books and physics, like not that. But they do, I want to talk about something that's important, something that might change someone's idea or the way they think. Not that I have to, but I like to have conversations like that because they make me happier. I feel like I'm not talking about something stupid like Twitter or somebody fighting or someone arguing like that doesn't get anywhere and when you have an intellectual conversation with someone you might learn something from the conversation it, it it's not just going to be them feeding information to you like it can be something that makes you start thinking and makes your mind buzzing and all that type of stuff so for me an election is more of in my eyes just for me talking about things that are significant, not things that are irrelevant, and then I'm just wasting my breath on it because it, if I'm not going to do anything about it, then what does it matter? So those are my five strengths, and thank you.